onto question 12 and we're looking here at some trigonometric identities uh, specifically the identities that tan of theta is equal to sine of theta divided by cosine of theta and I'm also going to use the fact that cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to 1. Those are the identities that I need to know. Uh, how does that help me? Well to start with let's use the identity for tan so writing that out again I'm going to have that 4 cos theta minus 1 is equal to 2 sine theta and then tan changes to sine theta divided by cosine theta. Now I'm going to write that, I'm going to multiply through by cosine theta now which is going to give me 4 cosine squared theta minus cosine theta and on the right hand side tidying things up I've got here 2 sine squared theta. Now the final equation that I've got here doesn't involve sine theta so I'm going to use my second identity to say that if I've got a sine theta I can rearrange that so that it's 1 minus cosine squared theta and make that substitution so this becomes 4 cosine squared theta minus cosine theta is equal to 2 lots of 1 minus cosine squared theta. Expanding what I've got I then have no change on the left and on the right 2 minus 2 cosine squared theta and moving everything to the left hand side is then going to give me 6 cosine squared theta minus cosine theta minus 2 equals 0 which was what was required. For part B I'm asked to hence which is a big word for use what you've just done solve the equation on this interval. Now the only difference between what we were given on our top line here and what we've now been given to solve is that instead of dealing with theta I'm now dealing with 3x. So essentially what that's saying is that I can use this equation here just substituting theta for 3x. So it's a sort of gimme if you haven't been able to do part A. Given that we have been able to do part A though we can move on through gaining full marks and say that that's going to be akin to solving 6 cos squared 3x minus cos 3x minus 2 equals 0. Now what we've got here is a quadratic equation and if we can't see that we've got a quadratic equation perhaps it might make it easier for us to say u is equal to cosine 3x and then this equation would become 6u squared minus u minus 2 equals 0. It's quadratic how do we solve a quadratic? Well the first thing you should always look to do with a quadratic is to try and factorise it. Does this factorise? Well yes it does. I end up with 3u minus 2 and 2u plus 1. It's always worth spending a bit of time seeing if it factorises because it's going to be a lot more work if it doesn't. So from the first bracket I would assume that u would be uh, 2 thirds and from the second bracket I'd assume that u would be minus one half. Well what does that mean in context? U is cosine three theta so I've got cosine sorry three x not theta is either two thirds or cosine three x is equal to minus a half. Now with trigonometry based questions we've always got to be very careful about the region that we want to solve for. So here we want to solve between zero and ninety degrees. Now that means our final answer has to be between 0 and 90 degrees, not, not our interim answers. So at this point I'm going to use my calculator and work out that the primary or prime solution for cosine 3x is 2 thirds comes out to be rounded uh, 48.2 degrees. And again the primitive solution for this is going to work out to be 100 and 20 degrees but we should know that with trigonometry we always get multiple solutions and I'm also going to write down the other solutions that we would get here now you've got multiple methods for doing this either you're going to use a unit circle and you're going to say that our first solution here at 48.2 in the cosine would mean that I would get another solution down here so I need to do 360 minus 48.2 and I get 311 Point eight. Uh, alternatively I could have drawn a cosine curve and said well my first solution was here at 48 so 
48 degrees where's my other solution going to be when well, it's going to be here 48 degrees further back and make the same argument for 120 degrees either draw that on my same graph so this goes round to 120 so I'm going to go back 120 that gives me 240 or again alternatively finding on my graph drawing my line through finding where the values we're going to assume that those are things that you can do uh, dividing through by 3 then tells me that x is either 16.1 uh, here would be 103.9 and in this case would be uh, 120 divided by 3 which is 40 uh, or in this case which would be 80 um, we actually don't need this answer because we only want solutions on the interval 0 to 90 degrees so my final solution is that x can be 16.1 degrees 40 degrees or 80 degrees. It's quite typical in these questions that you might forget to look for the additional solutions, but there they are.